So you're always going to have a little bit of food left over. It's how to use it well. And I'm making brie sticks because around this time of the year, there's always going to be some leftover cheese and some cranberry sauce. And this is such an easy recipe. Now below in the recipe, I'm telling you how to make the pastry. So you can go ahead and follow that recipe or you can take a shortcut and you can buy your pastry. But this is lovely because this has a bit of paprika in it as well, which is going to work really nice with the brie. So here it is. It's a, simply a short crust pastry, a little bit of butter, egg, flour, salt, paprika. That's it. Let's get that out of the way. And a bit of flour onto the work surface, a bit on top. And here's the fun bit now. We'll just start rolling out. So we're going to roll our pastry into rectangles. So a little bit of pressure now put on just to get it a bit lower and spin it and off we go this way. Now you see the way it's just cracking around the edge there? Not a problem. All you gotta do is you just keep squeezing it back together again because what you want is a smooth edge because if you don't sort out those cracks, the more you roll it while it's cracked, the deeper those cracks will be. So we're just gonna go for a large rectangle with this. There we go. Right, a bit more flour. Just a light dusting of flour. And off we go again. worth just checking on those little cracks in the pastry and that should do it okay can you see the paprika in it you can see that lovely color in it it's really really nice okay and now next thing we're going to do is just spread a little bit of our cranberry sauce on so it's just the leftover cranberry sauce which is so delicious with the turkey but it's so nice with the cheese you could go with apricot jam if you're having this any other time of the year is very nice so just a light spreading of the cranberry sauce you might prefer a relish on it if you want something a bit more savory okay now I am going to get this onto my board because or onto my oven tray because I now want to cut it into sticks before I put the cheese on top tip it's much easier next thing we want to do is just cut it into our sticks so across we go like that. You can make these as big or as small as you want. But I just want to make sure it's cut for us. Okay, and then we can go downwards. So I already cut the brie, by the way. This is it here. And I cut it into strips. So I'm just going to try and make my sticks so that the brie fits the sticks. I find it easier to cut it now and then put the brie on top. Simple reason is when you go to cut the brie, it tends to stick to the knife. So it's much easier not to be messing with it when it's on the pastry. To me, it's really important to see how you might be able to use up any of your leftovers. Because we often think we're feeding an army around the festive season and we end up over shopping. But it's how to use up all that lovely food because the flavors are so good. You don't want to see it go to waste. Yeah. See, you get a lot for your money, don't you? For the effort. Then you have your brie and you just lay it out like this. A little bit of brie on top. So this is one whole piece of brie that I have here. In a big triangle. Now it's going to melt everywhere. That's what I'm saying to you. This is very informal food. As you can imagine, by the time this is melted down, it'll be all over the place. So the oven's already preheated, so these are going into the oven to bake. So here we go, a little bit there, and a little bit there, and maybe another little bit there. And then you can go back again with a little bit more of your cranberry sauce, if you'd like, and just put little dabs of it around and just let it melt. So it's just very, very simple, nothing too fancy. Don't worry, it mightn't look so attractive now, but when they come out of the oven, You can see I love cranberry sauce. You might not want to put as much on. It's up to you. But we are just there now. I'm going to pop these in the oven to bake. Follow all the instructions on the recipe below and you'll be happy out with the results. So into the oven these go and when they come out, put a bit of chopped parsley on them and we can serve them up. So 
So now they have cooled, it is time to plate them up. And you want to get all fancy, pop them in a jar like that. This looks so good. And then you can put a little bit more on the side. Take a little bit of time just stacking them up. There we go. And we'll get a little bit of bay from here. And pop that on. There we go. Just for a little bit of colour. And you can never go wrong with a red parsley if you want to make something look festive. And there's plenty more to share afterwards. Let's pop them there. And here you have it. My cranberry brie sticks. Happy Christmas. <laughs>